Welcome to Kip DC Math! Yeah! Today, we're going to learn the last step of at-home math learning. And Bruno can already tell us what it is. It's to practice. But before we get started, do you remember why we're going to practice? Do you remember our big goal? Even though we can't all be to, in school together, we still want to learn mm, year of math. Our goal, go ahead and fill in the blank if you remember our goal. We want everyone to make one year of progress. Remember Fuzzy and Bruno? So how are we going to do it? There are three parts to our math program. Go ahead and drag the words to the correct spots to show the order of the three of our math program. The first part is the video where we earn stars by answering questions. The second part is our Zoom with our teacher where we get on Nearpod to practice problems with our classmates. And the last step, the one we're going to talk about today, is to practice. Did you know Bruno knows how to ride a skateboard? But he didn't know how to ride it when he was a baby. When he was a baby, he tried, and it didn't go perfectly, and he did silly stuff. Bruno had to practice. He tried and tried and tried and tried and did it over and over and over, and now he's a skateboard pro. This is what the basketball legend Kobe Bryant has to say about practice. To me, the mentality is a really simple one in, in the sense that the confidence comes from preparation. You know, so when the game's on the line, I'm not asking myself to do something that I haven't done thousands of times before, right? So when I prepare, I know what I'm capable of doing, I know what I'm comfortable doing, and I know what I'm not comfortable doing, you know, right? And so in those moments, if it looks like I'm ice cold or not nervous, it's because I've done it thousands of times before. So what's one more time? Let's talk about how we are going to practice. When you go to the website and you find your lesson page, you can scroll down and you'll see a button for independent practice and a button for the exit ticket. It should open up straight away to the right assessment. But if not, you can always click log on through Clever and get in that way. The first thing you want to do when you see the problem is open Scratchpad. That's going to let you show your work. If you press the pen button, then you can draw a picture. Up here, you are able to change the color. I can also change the thickness by pressing on that number and making it bigger. I'm going to draw the six dots for the six in the problem. Let's say by accident I drew too many dots. Then I could go to my pointer, click on it, and press the trash can button. Or I could press the back button to get something back and work backwards. I'm going to mostly use the pen to write numbers and show my work. When I'm all done, I'm going to press that same scratch pad button. And then I can solve the problem. That button lets me turn it on and off, but then I'm going to type in my numbers. I press next, and the problem is submitted. Here's another problem. This one's a drag and drop, where I have to drag the numbers. I'll press the scratch pad button, and now I can press my pen and write whatever I'd like. When I'm done showing my work, I press scratch pad to start making the answer. And I can turn scratch pad back on to keep showing more artwork. Oh, I want to delete. So I'm going to click on the thing I want to delete and press the trash can. Pen again in order to write my number and turn off scratch pad when I want to make my answer. When I'm all finished, I press next and it takes me to the next problem. This is an ordering problem, which is different, but you still show your work in the exact same way. It's going to take time for us to learn all the different kinds of problems. Don't worry about that right now. For now, what you need to know is that we show our work for every single problem. That's what practice looks like. That's what excellent practice looks like. When you've done the last problem, you're going to press the submit button. 
and you'll get a picture that tells you if there are any problems that are left over. In this case, it's all the gray problems because I just kind of skipped along to show you some. You press submit one last time and you're all set. Some people are really impressed by getting the right answer. But we at KIPP know that that doesn't really show your thinking. Those numbers could have just popped into your head. You could just use a calculator. We really want to see your thinking on your paper. This is a true A plus 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 plus. Thank you so much for watching today and for learning how we're going to practice together. It is so exciting that you can take all the learning that would have to happen at school and do it from our house. You are really a rock star.